Okay, out there in Cyberland or whatever that is, multi social media. I want to tell the people, everybody, I guess, in Turtle Island, the Napi Guns call United States. I want to challenge and ask the congressional people, the senators, uh, the congressmen, and the legislators of the states of the United States. What is uh, what is hindering your love for this country you call the United States and the tribes called Turtle Island? The tribes still own the land, but you manage it in that uh, constitution and the treaties you wrote. But I want to challenge uh, my constitute my uh, people that. are elected to serve on our treaty land, like Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. But I'd like to include all the senators and congressmen of the United States. What is hindering you from making the right decision to protect the Indian treaties, the Indian treaties rights, the Indian Freedom of Religious Act, uh, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, and many other legal documents, Supreme Court decisions, where we have a true right here. We had the original right, the inherent right. I'm asking you people who call yourselves leaders, elected leaders of all Turtle Island, you call United States, right from the city governments, up to the presidency. I know I'm speaking to deaf ears when I speak about Donald Trump. He does not care for our sacred four-legged. And he will be gone here pretty quick. So this is March 12th. And I'm telling you, Donald Trump is not going to be here that long. Either he'll be removed by Prosecutor Mueller or he'll pass away in a natural way or he'll be not elected in two years. So I'm telling you, I want to challenge you, Mr. Tester. You were my friend. You, Mr. Danes, my name is Isakya, James Jimmy Sankador Prairie Chicken Dance. Mr. Danes, you know me well, Jimmy Sankador. John Tester, you know me well. You served 10 years while I was on the council in the Montana State Legislature. In my last year, you was elected in November 2006. But I challenge you guys, why are you not making the right decision on these four-legged, on our treaty rights? Bears ears. My poor pitiful council is being used like a pawn the Blackfeet Council by Mr. Zinke. Mr. Zinke, I'd like you to tell your people about the meetings you've had in Whitefish with those Aryan Nation white supremacists. Mr. Zinke, tell us about those. I'm not condemning you, Mr. Zinke, but you've got to be truthful about who you're dealing with, how you think about us Indians. You're using our Blackfeet Council on our water in Badger to Medicine. That water in that Badger to Medicine is a million times more holier than your white supremacy thinking, Mr. Zinke. 
And I'm not going to mention Mr. Trump. He's not worth mentioning. He's hurting too many people. But I'm asking the congressional, the leaders of this country, not Mr. Trump, why can you not do anything to protect our poor legged in our treaty rights, our freedom of religion, Indian Freedom of Religion Act? our inherent right, our pre-treaty right of indigenous people here. You spent a lot of money, America, trying to get rid of us. I'd calculate four trillion dollars, but I'm still here. You could have used that money to help America. But I'm, I'm including the request to Tester, to Danes, to Gia Forty. I don't know him. He's not from here. He's from East. We don't know who he is. But as you could see, America, an election can be bought. And that is sad. We're almost like prostitutes, us voters, because all of the money that is spent on us to vote for people like Gia Forty. There's a lot of ignorant people, a lot of simple-minded people, because all that money spent on the campaign, you misinform, you, you lie to people, money lies to people. I can't lie because I don't have any money. But I'm requesting Mr. Tester, Mr. Daines, and Mr. Giaforti, and the rest of the Senators of Congress to explain to the public why you cannot make the right decision. And this is my friend to the right here. His name is Billy Angus, the wizard. He likes making videos for the right thing to do. He's not very rich. He lives on a set income, but he's a gifted musician. He loves the four-legged. He loves the land. He loves the water. He doesn't have to be a millionaire to control that. He's a big part of it because he loves it. This country is going to come back to loving Turtle Island, Mother Earth, and we're going to make sure of that. And I just asked the people of the Blackfeet Nation, we need true leadership. I am running for chairman of the Blackfeet Nation in June. I asked support out there in cyber world to support me. You could support me. You could write me letters. You could write to our Glacier reporter. You could have an input. And the reason I want you to have an input is because I love you. I love you. I might, might not love Trump or Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. You need to answer my request to have a modern day duel with live ammunition in our pistols. If I lose the duel, you can kill all you want. But if you lose the du duel, all the killing of the four-legged will end. But we have to step out of this atrocity, evil atrocity that's happening to this land. These children and these men that are killing mass killings in the country since 1989, these are sane people. Obama should have took responsibility. George Bush, George Bush the first. Now Trump should take responsibility. But Trump does not know how to take responsibility. When, when you give somebody a million dollars to shut up, that's not responsibility. 
That is against all the laws of the Indian people and the laws of your United States Constitution. We don't even know we're being bribed when we take Trump's money, our campaign money. So I ask the leadership, don't be afraid of anybody. Make a decision to help us. I pray that. I talk to Crater, Apastatuki, Spumukina, Sixakei, God, help us, Blackfeet. Help the Blackfeet way. Help the Indian way. All the Indians. Every Indian that sits on Turtle Island, North and South America, Canada, Northwest Territories, even our relatives, the Mongolians in Asia. They say we came across the Bering Strait East. No, the Blackfeet went across 14,000 years ago. And our mountains are still sacred. Our mountains are still sacred. Our water is still sacred. If I become chairman of the tribe, I'm going to ask the people to redo the water settlement in their favor, in the Blackfeet's favor, because that's their water. We need to look at things. And there's names I want to say, but I can't. Because they're just simple people that were bought by money. But I'm going to leave you with this message. Let the buffalo go into the national forest. It's their natural habitat. Science says that. And I'm sorry about the top four service person who was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. But that's the way it is. The Euro Americans cannot control that desire. We don't know why. Maybe they can't control turning down money and doing the wrong thing because of money. But I ask the children, all the children I understand, K through 12, help us in this country, Turtle Island. It's time to do the right thing. We say this is the greatest country in the world, but look at it now. Look at it now. Everybody's scared of everybody. Spumukina Isakia, James Jimmy Sankador of the Six of Gates at the P, and all of the four-legged Anya.